I've done a couple of videos on this channel about self-hosting your services and exposing them to the outside world using PFSense with HAProxy, as well as Nginx Proxy Manager. And while both of those are great options, they don't necessarily work for everyone. You see, both of those require you to have a dedicated public IP address, meaning that you can't be stuck behind carrier-grade NAT. If you don't know what CG NAT is, it's basically a way for your ISP to cut down on public IPs they have to manage by allocating you a private IP and routing all your traffic through their own network. Kind of acting like a switchboard operator for all you fossils out there. Even more basic, this just means that you don't have a public IP to use when you want to create a DNS entry using common DNS providers like Cloudflare. No worries though. Our Lord and Savior Cloudflare has a solution to this in the form of tunnels. And that's what we're gonna set up today, a Cloudflare tunnel into our network to expose our services without any need for a dedicated public IP. Let's check it out. So Cloudflare tunnels work by establishing a connection directly from the Cloudflare servers to your network where you'll be hosting the Cloudflare client. This client can run on basically any device from Windows, Mac, Linux, ARM systems, smart fridges. Okay, maybe not that last one, but it runs on a lot of stuff. You can follow the guides provided by Cloudflare, but when I did this, I found that there were certain steps that needed clarification, or in some cases, you needed to pull up different documentation to get completely set up. So that's why I'm making this video. I wanna show you step-by-step step how to get set up with a Cloudflare tunnel and hopefully get you hosting your fancy new website ASAP. Now let's go ahead and dive in. For this setup, I'll be using an Ubuntu server LXC container that's running in Proxmox. Feel free to go with whatever hardware or OS you'd like. As I mentioned, this will work on damn near anything. So let's dive in. All right, here we are in my Proxmox instance. You can see I have a container spun up. It is a brand new vanilla version of Ubuntu server haven't touched anything yet. So the first thing I am going to do, which I've already done, is just SSH into that container. Once you've established that you can connect to it, let's go ahead and get started with the Cloudflare service. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is go into your Cloudflare account. So if you haven't done this yet, I advise to just go ahead and get a domain, transfer to Cloudflare, and get everything set up before continuing. So here we are in mine, mrballoonhands.com. It's my dashboard. Uh, you're gonna wanna scroll down to where you see traffic and under there, you will see Cloudflare tunnel. Go ahead and click on that and then launch the Zero Trust dashboard. Once you're in here, go into access and tunnels. Now your first thought is probably to click this create a tunnel button, but we're not gonna do that. You can set it up in the GUI, but I found that using the CLI locally is way easier. So just under that, click on the documentation and that will load up the getting started guide for setting up your Cloudflare tunnel. So let's go into the tunnel guide and ignore all this remote setup stuff. We're gonna skip over that and go directly down to the local setup using the CLI. And like I mentioned, you can install it on pretty much anything. And the first step will be slightly different depending on how you're hosting it, whether it's Mac, Windows, or Linux, but we're using Linux, so we're going to follow the Linux steps. And honestly, step is one line, which is basically downloading and installing the Cloudflare service. So we're gonna copy that, go into our server, paste, run, easy. Let's hop back into the guide, step two. For this step, what we're going to be doing is authenticating Cloudflare, which means it's going to set up a connection to your domain within Cloudflare and make sure that they are allowed to talk to each other. We'll do that with the Cloudflare tunnel login command. Whoops. So when you run that command, it's going to give you a URL. If you're on a server, you can just copy this and put it in whatever browser you're on, which I will do over here. That's gonna bring up a list of your domains and you just simply select which one you want to authenticate this with. I'm using Mr. Balloon Hands. Let's select that, authorize. So if we go back, you will see that it has successfully logged in and it will give you a path to the cert.pem file, which is in root.cloudflared cert.pem. Make note of that. Next, we actually have to create the tunnel. So cloudflared tunnel create and then give it a name, cloudflared create, and we will just call this demo. And just like that, it created it. And again, root slash cloudflared 
slash this long string. This is your UUID for the tunnel you just created. And the JSON is the credentials file. So again, just make sure you know where these are stored because this is important when we create our config. On to step four. This is where we actually create that config file. So what we're gonna wanna do is go into that location. So we'll just go CD root Cloudflared. And if we list the files in there, you can see our cert and our JSON file. And what we're going to do is create a config.yaml file. So config.yml or yaml, whichever team you're on, doesn't matter. Then we are going to edit it. I'm using nano, fight me. And this is going to give you some examples. And we're just going to use the first two lines of this network connecting one. So it wants the tunnel and the tunnel UUID and the path of the credentials file, which we have both. So now you need your UUID. And remember, we got that from the previous commands, but we can also get it from the GUI. If you go back into here, remember where we almost created a tunnel using the GUI? Well, just refresh that and you should see the tunnel that you created pop up. And just like that, there's your UUID. We can copy that. And now we can create our YAML. So it's tunnel and that. Then it was the config, now what was it? Credentials file, which was at root cloud flared, and then the UUID dot JSON. And boom, just like that, we have our config file. So next step. This is where you create the DNS entry for your Cloudflare account so that it knows, hey, when I'm trying to access this URL, use that tunnel to get into my service. So you can do that one of two ways. You can do it directly through the traditional Cloudflare GUI and setting up a DNS record, or you can do it here. And honestly, they're both really easy, but let's continue our trend of using the CLI. So the command for that is Cloudflare D tunnel route DNS the UUID or the name of your tunnel, and then the host name. So we'll do Cloudflared route DNS, tunnel route DNS. We named ours demo. And then we want to say, I don't even know what we're hosting yet. Let's host our, uh, our Heimdall service. So we'll call this one uh, dashboard.mrballoonhands.com. Hit enter. Oh, already exists. So <laughs> I already did uh, this as a test before. Let me go and delete that. So I'll just show you. See here in the DNS records, we have dashboard and sync. Those are my testing ones. So let's go ahead and delete both of those. Okay, now run it again. And just like that, we created it. So this is just creating a CNAME record, which is saying, if we go to dashboard.mrballoonhands.com, point to this specific demo tunnel that we created. Cool, but now how does it know when we go to dashboard.mrballoonhands.com, what actually to point to on the local network? Well, that's where we set up some ingress commands in our config.yaml. So we're gonna go back into that. We're gonna edit it again, nano config.yaml, and we're gonna set up some ingress. So. It's not in the getting started guide, but they do have an ingress guide. And all these links I'm using uh, will be linked down in the description below, so don't worry. So in their ingress rules uh, guide, you can see they have some examples, which basically shows how to specify a host name and then what service on your local network to transfer that to. So following this command, we will go ahead and set some up. So it goes host name service. So I'll say ingress host name will be dashboard.mrballoonhands.com and the service will be https.0.0.26. The port it is 9444. And one thing to make note of is you always have to have a catch all rule if you're using ingress. So we will be using the HTTP 404 one that just says if none of the ingress rules are caught, then use this last one, which is just a 404 page. You can use whatever you want, but this is just what I use. It's easy. Okay, save that. And technically we're ready to go. All we have to do is run it. So the last step, running the actual tunnel. So back in the guide, you'll see you run the tunnel, Cloudflare tunnel run, and then the UUID or the name. So I'll do Cloudflare tunnel run demo. And just like that, it's spun up and ready to go. So if we attempt to go to dashboard.mrballoonhands.com, 
Error 502, bad gateway. What is going on here? Well, if we look back at our tunnel, you'll see that it's giving us an issue. It doesn't contain any IP SANS records. So we're having an issue with HTTPS and it being self-signed on the server, but we can actually avoid this. So we're gonna control C, get out of here, go back into our config. And if you're using HTTPS and using self-signed certificates, uh, you may run into this issue, but don't worry, it's easy to avoid. So we'll go back in here. And in our Ingress setup document, you can see at the bottom, they give you a list of different configurations. And one of them is no TLS verify, meaning that it's not gonna use TLS verification, which is what we want for this instance. And the way you do that is put origin request and then the attribute underneath. We'll go origin request, and we'll say no TLS verify true. Let's run our tunnel again, go back here, refresh, and boom, Heimdall, there it is. Encrypted across the tunnel, no public IP exposed. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty impressive and that easy to set up. So again, we can easily set up another service to host. And this is essentially acting as our reverse proxy, just like we did in the HA proxy video, just like we did in the Nginx proxy manager video. All this is kind of just packaged into one thing. So let's go back, let's kill this, and let's create another one. So just like before, remember how I said you can create a DNS record using the CLI? Well, you can also create one in the GUI. So let's go back here. If we refresh, you'll see our dashboard entry, and we can just simply kind of copy it. So we'll go to add record, CNAME. We will copy the target from here paste it in here and the name, what are we even hosting? Um, let's just host sync thing like we did before. So we'll do sync and that will do sync.mrballoonhens.com. Save. So now we can skip that step in the CLI and all we have to do is add it to the config. So back into our config and just like the one above it, we'll go host name sync.mrballoonhens.com. Service is HTTP 10.0.0. Dot, I don't remember what the port is. 83.84. Save it. Close. Spin up the tunnel again. And just like that, if we just change this, actually it's HTTP, but so if we go to sync.mrballoonhands.com, same thing. That freaking easy. Now I know what you're thinking. You probably don't wanna to have to manually spin this up and monitor it manually. You want it to run as a service. Luckily, we can do that. So there is a document called Run as a Service for Cloudflare D, and it gives you kind of this little walkthrough, but honestly, once it's already installed, all you have to do is install it as a service. And we'll say Cloudflare Service Install, easy. And we can say system CTL status Cloudflare D and it is active and running and it will run when you start up. So this is just running as a service now. And if I go back into here and I try to go to sync that Mr. Blown Hands again, you can see it's working because it is now running as a service. And the cool thing about this is that it's not limited to HTTP or HTTPS requests. You can see in the ingress configuration that you can use quite a few different protocols, TCP, SSH, you can even RDP over this. There's so many things you can set up applications through Cloudflare. It's very, very impressive and it's free. That's like the best part. All right, and there we have it. Our services have been properly exposed to the outside world using Cloudflare tunnels and we didn't even need a public IP to do it. I showed a not so practical use case of this in my off-grid home lab video. If you wanna check that out, link up here. At the end of the day, there are many ways to go about doing this and you don't have to use this method, but I know some people have been frustrated when watching my other videos that required you to have a public IP. So I hope this helped you folks out. So now it's time for a comment of the week. This one comes on my miniature home server build video using a Raspberry Pi Zero 2. And this comment comes from the Wicked John who says, this channel is slowly carving its way into my weekly must watch list. You are doing a great job, man. Keep it up. 
Thank you very much, John, for the positive reinforcement. I'm glad you are enjoying the channel, you enjoyed the video. My only unfortunate thing about this is that Raspberry Pis are still almost impossible to get. So while I do like doing videos on them, I kind of feel bad because they're just so hard to get. And I feel bad showing cool things to do with them and people not being able to get them. But I'm glad you like that. I appreciate the kind words, Mr. Wicked John. Okay, that's all I have for you today. If you found this video informative, then please drop a like. If you like nerdy ass shit, then consider subscribing because that's kind of my thing. Also, let me know down in the comments how you're currently exposing your services or if you plan on using this method. I'd be curious to see what everyone out there is actually doing. And I wanna give a shout out to my Patreons and my YouTube members for continuing to support not only my tutorial videos, but my dumb ideas like bringing an entire home lab setup into the woods. You guys rock my socks. But if you're still around, then I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.